Hello YouTube. So I'm gonna go ahead and start. First you need to download two files into your desktop. One is the firmware 3.1.2 and quick pwn. You can download these files from the website that's going to be in the description. So I'm gonna go open my web browser and I'm going to type idevicesource.co.cc and then hit enter. On the website, find a post where it says Mac and Windows Quick Pwn. So click that link. Scroll down. Here you'll find instructions and things you need to know before downgrading. You can find here the two files that you need to download, which is the firmware 3.1.2 and Quick Pwn for Windows or Quick Pwn for Mac. Below is the step-by-step -step guide on how to downgrade and possibly activate your device. So I'm going to leave my web browser open for reference. Once you've downloaded the required files, you can start the process. So going back to the website, I'm going to scroll down to the instructions for Windows. First is to edit your host file. So go ahead and open Windows Explorer. I'm going to go back to the website. On step 1A, I'm going to copy this slide. So right click and then click copy. Then going back to Windows Explorer, I'm going to delete and replace this part. So right click and then click paste. And then hit enter. Below is the host file. So right click on it and then click open. Now find and select Notepad, then click Open. In Notepad, click or go to the empty space line, then back to the website on Step 1D, highlight and copy this line. Go back to Notepad and paste it at to the bottom space line. Now save the file by going File and click Save. Now you're done editing your host files to so close Notepad and then close Windows Explorer as well. Next is to connect your device on iTunes. So connect your device and then open iTunes. As you can see here, the current firmware is 3.1.3. The next step is to put your device on DFU mode. There's also instructions on the website on how to do that. Now to put your device on DFU mode, first is to turn your device completely off. Now that your device is off, press both the home button and the power button at the same time for about 10 seconds. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 then release the power button but keep pressing the home button for a few more seconds until iTunes recognizes your device in recovery mode. Just click OK on the iTunes pop-up. Your screen should be black on DFU mode. If you see the iTunes icons on the screen, then you're on regular recovery mode. Repeat process until you get it. Now you're going to find the firmware 3.1.2 you downloaded. You can do this while pressing shift on your keyboard and click the restore button. A window will open. Navigate to the desktop to find the firmware. Select the firmware. And then click open. Items will prompt you if you want to restore or not so click restore. Then the firmware will start extracting and then your device will go to the restoring and downgrading process. Now this may take for a little bit so I'm going to fast forward. Now, during the restore or downgrade process, 
you will encounter the 1015 error. That's perfectly normal. It basically means you have the SHSH file and are able to downgrade. However, if you get that 3002 error, you don't have the SHSH file. Unfortunately, you cannot downgrade your device. Anyway, so just click OK on the error. Then when iTunes recognizes your device on recovery mode, just click OK and close iTunes. Next is to use QuickPwn to get your device out of recovery mode. So double click on QuickPwn to open WinRAR. Just click the close. Now click the extract button and click OK. Wait for it to finish, then close the window. Now minimize the web browser, and there goes the QuickPwn folder you just extracted. Double click on it to open the folder. Inside is the QuickPwn program. On Windows 7, run QuickPwn in Windows XP compatibility mode and as an administrator. For Windows XP users, just double click and run the program regularly. Since I'm on Windows 7, I'm going to right click on QuickPwn, select properties, click on compatibility mode, then make sure to check this box right here where it says run the program compatibility mode for and then Windows XP Service Pack 2 and then click OK. Then right here, click right click on QuickPwn again and then run as administrator. Wait for it to load. Then this little message will pop up. It says to hold down the home and power button for 15 seconds and release the home button while still pressing the power button for 2 seconds. Remember to, re to release the home button, not the power button. This will basically get your device out of recovery mode. So to do that, hold power and home button, then count 15 seconds. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Then release the home button. Keep holding power button for 2 seconds. Okay, so your device should be powering back on. Click OK on the message. Ignore that window. Wait for iTunes to open or open it manually. Wait for it to recognize your device. Update your carrier settings if you want. Click OK. Now select restore your device from the backup, then click continue. Now wait for your device to restore from backup. This may, this may take a few minutes, so just be patient and wait. Then your device will reboot. And there you go guys, downgraded 3.1.3 to 3.1.2. At this point, iPhone unlockers should be activated and re ready for use. Note that some other iPhones won't get activated because this is not really a way to unlock iPhones. That's it guys, good luck and don't forget to rate, comment and subscribe. Peace out.